what's going on youtube man we back at it again this is a multi-day process i ordered my um blackout package and then i also bought the double-sided 3m tape which came in late so the video that y'all seeing first i already used the tape that came with the actual diffuser it was like cheap tape it didn't like really hold good at all so i had to end up buying a roll and it came in what last night on the 22nd i forgot what date i said um from the first part when i was doing it but basically i kept it on my car for a couple of days uh i used the rivets i used zip ties i'm gonna show y'all what i've been up to as far as today on the 23rd all right y'all so basically i just put my bumper and i put it in the house and this is a heater I got it on max, I got it on three, the highest. And for 30 minutes, I let it sit in each section cause I got tape. I got tape here, I got tape right here. Then I got two strips of tape here. And the LED light is right here in this area, but it's no support. And then right here, I got two lines of tape. And then we're gonna go right here. I got one line of tape right here in the middle. Then I got two right here. And then as far as, um, I got another strip of tape right here. And then right here are my, my holes that I drilled because the main factory hole is right here, but the diffuser stops right here. Wait, it, all right, so it stops right here. So it's like literally cuts off right at the hole. So I had to um, drill two custom holes on each side. Two holes is like right there. Well, I did three. After I heat up each one for 30 minutes, I grabbed the, um, the diffuser and I put my hand through there and I kind of like pressed them together like that. After I moved the fan to make sure that um, tape sticks real good with the heat um because i'm gonna lift this up for y'all so y'all can see i'm um, pretty good putting the lighting you can see right there is no gaps it's completely flush well, it's right there um, well this side right here that's the side i've been heating up so starting right there i gotta like mash it so it can stick pretty good but other than that i mean it's sealed um i'm gonna do that after this little cut video but i was just showing y'all what i had to do i mean 
to each of their own. You can do what you want, but I'd rather take off the whole bumper and do it inside. So I just took it in, I wiped, I cleaned the whole thing, and then reapplied the tape on the diffuser with the actual 3M tape. Yeah, other than that, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and um, show y'all how to wire this. This will be the first channel to actually show you how to wire these wires. Trust me, I've been looking all on YouTube, a whole bunch of videos of how to wire this diffuser, this exact one, but everybody else, they don't really show you clearly. And I'll tell you like what colors go with what. And I mean, just like other people say, you can plug and play with it. But for me, I'm just gonna tell you which on um, wires go to the headlights. And for me, I am doing the daytime running lights, brake lights, and the four-way flasher lights. So we have on um, the red wire, we have the white wire, we have the black wire, we have the yellow, and then we have the green wire. All right, so you'll put the red on the positive, black on the negative, and then these three, yellow, white, and green, you can put it on the positive on your car battery and you'll just kind of plug these um, males into the female connector and just bounce around from your, was it brown, red, white, and black, tap it in, and then just look at your brake light and see which one does what. But the thing that I'm showing y'all is how I'm gonna set it up will just be break, daytime, and four-way flash. That's all. So let's get into it. All right, y'all, we back. Sorry if, if the video is a little lengthy, but it's real detailed. So, all right, change of plans. I got tired of drilling. <laughs> so basically, we'll just put zip ties on it, three of them, and slide them all the way tight. And then we're just going to tuck them in inwards so they won't be seen. Kind of have them down. And it's really not going nowhere. It's it's flush. See right there, it's flush. Oh, it's flush. Nothing can get in there. It's tight and it doesn't move as I'm clamping it. All right, y'all. Before I put this bumper on, I had to show y'all. The wire there's a gasket right here what you want to do is just poke a hole in it and I got my needle nose I stuck it in there and I spread it open and then I ran my wires through and then I pulled it through so once you have it you can still pull it all the way through or it would be right here enough to tap these in and keep the access wired in there. All right, so I put the bumper up. I'm just gonna show y'all how to put it back on for those who are wondering. Normally, when you grab it, you'll pick it up and try to match the hole with the white hole behind it and make sure the bottom is under the tail light because the little latch can get stuck on the black um, hooks over there. So, this side is pretty much done. I just gotta hook it up. But on this side, I'm gonna show y'all. So, let me see. Basically, let me pop it off real quick. Like that. You'll just wanna lift it up and make sure this is not in the way. Kinda wiggle it. And boom it's in place and then all you want to do is just kind of like lift up on it and kind of push the clips to where it can go flush so got this in place now I'm just pushing now it's kind of together push it some more push and there you go now you want to get your all right get your 
get your screw, put it in, turn it. All right, so I pretty much just ratchet the screw in place. Next, you wanna get your covers. Put them back in, make sure you snap them back in place. So, there you go. It's, there's one, two, and then that third one is in place. And this one, you'll match the side with that. Forget it. I gotta do it with two hands. Hold on. See, it's right there. It wasn't straight. It was bent, so I had to straighten them out and then push them in. Now it's locked in. So next, you want to get your two little small rivets. Well, I'll do one side at a time. So you get one small rivet, and then you'll get a big one. Place them down. Get a towel real quick. All right. So right here, everything is locked up. So you get the small rivet and put it in. We lock that in place. Now we gotta get the big rivet and put it under. There we go. Put it right there. We're gonna do the same to the next side. Place that down. Grab a small, I'll grab a big. The small goes right here, the big goes under to hold this the bumper in place. Let me see if I can do it this time with one hand. Yep, there we go. Slide it in, push it, it's locked in place. The bottom one, you got the hole right there. Slot it in, lock it in place. That was solid. Man, look at that blackout package, bro. It looks so good. All right, let's get back on topic. So right now we're literally under the diffuser and you can literally see the wire in this spot. And then you'll see it right there. So I'm just going to basically tuck the wire under on both of these sides. And then I'm going to slide on this side to make sure it's not rubbing against the exhaust system to get hot or anything. So that's what I'm going to do first. All right, bro. So here we go. Let's get y'all a good look under. So there's the exhaust pipes. The wire is good. So this, this is how I'm gonna do it. Y'all can do it how y'all see fit. So this is a main rivet. And then you have one, two, three, four, four. And then you got your main rivet. Those two, like the main one, like these tabs, is two of them. You can put rivets in there. It'll hold the bumper in place. These other ones, I'll just zip tie them and then cut the ends. And then you can like tuck them however you see fit. Because like this one, I can literally just set it like 
inside the bumper and then I don't have to cut it to where it can just lay like up here, up in there, which is fine. But these, I'll cut them. This I'll cut it. I'll have to add another zip tie. But this is a main example where I say rivets are bad because it'll hold the the diffuser, it'll hold the bumper, but it won't hold this plate because I can literally hit a bump and look just like that is disconnected from the plastic and the rear bumper because look just like that it's just holding the diffuser so i'm gonna pop this out and use a zip tie and put two here two there and cut them <laughs> all right y'all and another thing i forgot to mention is with the ends make sure you run them through and then stick your hand and grab the zip tie and make sure you secure the corner edges on both sides so i threw i didn't cut these i just throw them up these i cut the first one the second one the third one wait my bad first second then the third one is the corner so I caught myself slipping because I got, I tied these two together and then I saw that this was a corner plate. So I stuck it through, I wrapped it around the plate and then I zip tied it to where the corner is secured good. And then the last one is the pin. So pin, one, two, three, and then there's the corner and then there's the other corner that you put the rivet in yeah all right let's get to the wiring all right guys we got our tail light plug i got the factory ones on for right now so we have red black white and brown on this side so what you want to do is connect your black with your black so your black tail light to the black diffuser wire and then your red tail light to the white diffuser wire then you gotta do your white tail light to your yellow diffuser and then your brown tail light to the red diffuser wire and that's how you're gonna connect those and plug them in plug them in hold on there you go they plugged in and then your green one it doesn't go to nothing so we're just gonna uh basically just leave it hanging But that's how y'all wire it up. And by wiring it up this way, you have access to your four-way flashers, your brakes, and your DRL, your daytime running lights. So now since they're hooked up, I'm about to go get my webcam holder. And as soon as I crank up the car and hit the brakes, y'all can see that. And also, y'all be able to see the four ways and then the light in general with the daytime zone. It's just regular running lights. So, once we make sure that those are working properly, then we can go ahead and put the cover back on and be done with the project. Man. So, let's get it. tripod this is me locking the doors get a little closer you can see it flash I'm gonna do a um, daytime comparison and a nighttime comparison so I'm just gonna set this to where y'all able to um, see it pretty good
All right, so since we got the lights working, we just want to go ahead and put everything back together. Yep, that's pretty much it. Tilt it, slide it in place, make sure the silver pin lines with the gap, and then snap it in place. Next, you want to get your rivets. Rivets and put them in. There's one, two, three. Don't forget this knob to snap that back in place. One, two. Same as this side. One. And two. 